Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to get customer details via Gmail for Razorpay order. Suppose you are using Razorpay as your payment gateway platform and now as the owner of your company, you want that as soon as a new order will be paid in your Razorpay account for a particular product, you should receive an email notification for getting the customer details for that same order. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. So here, what we are going to do, we have Razorpay in our trigger and Gmail in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically get the email notification whenever a new order will be paid in Razorpay. So suppose you are using Razorpay as your payment gateway and now you want that as soon as a new product will be purchased from your Razorpay account, automatically you want to receive the email notification of that payment along with all the order details. So here we are going to create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect by setting up a simple integration between Razorpay and Gmail. And this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we we will reach on this home page we can find two options over here sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in and this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. to create this automation we are going to use Pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders over here in order to save our workflows. So as you can find, I have two folders over here on my dashboard. And I have saved all the workflows in this test integrations folder. In the same manner, by creating the folders, you can save your workflows accordingly on your dashboard. To create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So so it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Get customer details via Gmail for Razorpay order. Okay. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save our workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select test integrations folder. And now we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. Now, what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts on which the entire automation runs. Here, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. The trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this, that means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and will initiate it. And the actions are going to follow that same command. Now, let's understand the concept of trigger an action once again with the example of this workflow. Let's say here we are going to take Razorpay in our trigger and Gmail in our action. And we want that as soon as a new order will be paid on Razorpay, automatically the response of that order should be captured here in Pabli Connect. And with that same response, an email notification should receive to you along with all the customer and the order details. So here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger. So after understanding the concept of trigger in action, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Razorpay. So let's select Razorpay over here. And the next thing which we have to select is trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So here we will select order paid as our trigger event as we want that whenever a new order will be paid in our Razorpay account, the workflow should get trigger. So let's select order paid over here. And as we have done that, a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So basically, we have to follow these instructions step by step in order to connect our Razorpay account with Pabli Connect. And the webhook URL which we have received is going to act as a bridge over there in order to send the data from Razorpay towards Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy this webhook URL. And then we are going to follow the steps given over here. So first of all, I'm going to take you towards my Razorpay account. And here I'm working in a test mode. Okay, so we will go towards accounts and setting option given on left side. And here we can find the option of webhook. So let's select webhooks over here. And here we can find that several webhooks are already created over here for different purposes. Now to add a new webhook, we will click on this add new webhook button. And here we have to enter the details. First of all, we have to provide the webhook URL which we have recently copied from Pabli Connect here in this field. So let's paste it. 
and the next is secret and alert email. So if you want, you can also add the details in these two fields, but I am ignoring them. The next is active events. Now here we need to select the events. So we will go back towards Fably Connect and here it is given that select order paid from the active events section. Because our trigger event here is order paid, we will simply select order paid from active events. Okay, done. And now we will click on create webhook. So with this, our webhook is saved successfully. So let's go back towards Fably Connect and here it is showing waiting for webhook response. So what does this mean? This means that now we have to do a test submission by making a test payment for a particular product in Razor Pay so that the response of that order could be captured here in Fably Connect. So we will go back towards Razor Pay account and because I'm working in a test mode, I'm going to make a test payment over here. And from these options, we have to select payment pages. So I have multiple pages on my Razorpay account in test mode. I am going to open one of these pages, let's say PHP programming course, and I'm going to make a test payment for this particular course. Okay, so this is the payment link of the course. We will copy it and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And the payment link is open in front of us for PHP programming course. All the description and other details are given over here for this page. And it is given that we are working in test mode. Okay, so we are going to make a test payment over here. Now we have to enter payment details. First of all, let us select the course, PHP programming course. Now we have to enter the customer details. So because I am doing a test submission, I am going to enter the details of a test customer over here. Let's say the first name will be demo and the last name will be customer. Now I'm going to enter a random email, demo94 at the rate pablitudes.com and a random phone number. The amount is 500, so we are going to pay 500 rupees. As we have clicked on pay here, we can find multiple options for making the payment. You can select any of the options you want. Here I'm going to select card. Okay, and now I'm going to enter the dummy card details for making a payment. So first of all, let me start with the card number. So this is a dummy card number. I am going to enter a dummy expiry date, card holder's name and a random CVV. We will click on pay now. And here my payment is successful. So as we have made the payment successful, let's go back towards Fably Connect. And here we can find that we have already received the response. So as soon as the order is paid in Razor Pay, the response is captured over here. That means we have successfully built an integration between Razor Pay and Fably Connect. And here in the response, we have received all the details of the order, the order ID, the phone number of the customer, first name, last name, email, the course which he has purchased, payment method and the payment details. Okay, but here we can find that in the payment details, we have received a wrong response for the amount. We have received 50,000 rupees, whereas we have made the payment for 500 rupees only. So what we are going to do, we are going to make the change in this payment first. And in order to format this amount, we are going to use one more action step that is number formatter by Pabli. So in the action application, we are simply going to select number formatter. Number formatter by Pabli is an inbuilt feature of Pabli which allows us to format the number in order to change it according to the workflow requirements. So here we are going to select perform math operation as I will have to divide the amount which we have received that is 50,000 with 100 so that we can convert it into 500. Okay, so here we will click on connect. And now we have to provide the number which we want to format and then we have to provide the operation which we want to use. So here I want to perform divide operation because I want to divide the number with 100. Now here in this field of number, we have to enter the number which we want to format. We want to format the amount which we have received from our razor pay response. So we will simply map that number from our earlier response. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. So here our previous step is given razor pay. Let's select it and here are all the details. So whatever data we want, we can simply select that and it will be mapped automatically. So we want to map the amount. Amount is given over here. When we will select that, it will be mapped automatically over here. Now why we have mapped this number instead of entering it manually? Because we want that as soon as a new response will be captured from razor pay, automatically this amount should get replaced with that new amount of the new response. But in case if we will enter it manually then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response therefore wherever in the workflow we want that data should replace automatically there we map it and when we want the data should remain same with each and every response then we type it manually and that is called as static mapping now after mapping the number the next thing which we have to do is we have to use a comma and then we have to enter the number through which we want to divide it so we will enter a comma 
and I want to divide this number with 100 so I will simply enter 100 over here without any space. It is given that for example if you want to add a specific number with 200 then what you are supposed to do instead of entering it like this 100 plus 200 you have to enter the number 100 then you have to use a comma and then you have to enter 200 with which you want to add. So in our case because we want to divide the number with 100 I have mapped the number over here that is 50,000 then I have entered a comma and then because I want to divide with 100 I have entered 100. So like this you have to use perform math operation event. Now after this let's click on save and send test request and we have received the response along with the correct amount that is 500. Okay. So we will move further and we will move towards our next action step. Let's click on this plus sign and our next action step is to get the email notification for the order paid and razor pay. So we will select gmail over here in our action application and now we have to select the action event. That will be send email of course. Click on connect and now I am going to select add new connection. To build a new connection with my Gmail account, if you want you can also go with your existing connection. We will click on connect with Gmail and here we have to select the account. Now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account. It is 100% safe so let's click on allow. And with this our authorization has become successful. So after building the connection with Gmail and Pabli Connect, let's move further and here we have to enter the details in these fields so that we can receive the email notification for Razorpay order. Okay, first of all it is asking us for the recipient email address. Now here in this field we have to enter the email address of the person who want to receive the email notification. Now let's suppose I am the company owner and I am selling the products through Razorpay. So I want to receive the notification for each and every order which is paid on my Razorpay account. So here in this, so here in this field I am going to enter the email address of my own. Okay, so let me enter my email address. Okay. After entering my email address, we will move further and the next thing we have to enter is the sender name. So through which name you want to receive the notification. So here because we are receiving the notification of the details of the customers who have made the payment in Razorpay, I am going to use the sender name as Razorpay. And because I am typing this sender name manually, it has become static now and it is not going to change with each and every response. So every time we will receive an email notification for Razorpay order, the sender name is going to be same. Okay, done. The next is email subject. So in email subject, again, I'm going to type manually because I want to keep the subject same. That is order paid. Okay, the next is email content type. So the email content type will be plain and here we have to enter the content which we want to use in our email. So here I'm going to enter the content, let's say as hello. So this is my content. Hello, a new order is paid in Razorpay by a customer. Here are the order and customer details, order ID, product purchase, amount paid, customer's name, email, contact. Okay, regards. Now what we are going to do one by one, we are going to map the details in these fields so that we can make this email customized and dynamic and the details will be changed with each and every response. So first of all, let us map the order ID from our earlier response that is from Razorpay. So here is our order ID. The next is product name. So I'm going to search for the product name and that is PHP programming course. Done. The amount paid. We have already formatted the amount from our number formatter. Let's map that. The customer name. Let me search for the name. And here is the first name and we will map the last name also to make it full name. So this is the last name demo customer. Now the next is email. So here I'm going to map the email also in the same manner and at last the contact number. So this is the contact number done. So we have mapped all the details successfully. So I have just kept a basic message. You can definitely customize your email according to your choice and requirements. Now after this we will move further and if you want you can also attach a particular file or attachment along with this email. You have to enter the name of the file here in this field and then the URL of the file in this particular field. Okay. Because I do not want to attach any particular file therefore I am ignoring these two fields for now. We will simply click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response. Along with the response, we have received the status as sent. So that means the email is sent on the email ID which we have mapped over here. So let's go and check on this email. And here we have received the email notification along with all the details of the order and customer for the new Razorpay order. Okay, so this means our workflow is perfectly successful. So what we are going to do, we are going to check this workflow once again. I am going to take you back towards Razorpay account. And here I'm going to make the payment for a particular product once again. Let's say again for the programming course. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to open it in a new tab. 
and as soon as I will make the payment over here for this particular product, automatically we will see without any manual efforts within seconds, an email notification will be received to us along with all the order and the customer details. So let's make the payment over here. So I have entered all the details. Let's click on pay and our payment is made. So as we have made the payment, let's go and check towards the email which we have mapped whether an email notification is received once again or not. And yes, once again, we have received the notification successfully with the same email. Hello, a new order is paid in Razorpay by a customer and here are the order and customer details. The new order ID, the product, the amount, the new customer name, dummy customer, email and a new contact number. So with this, we have made sure that our workflow is working perfectly fine. So we will go back towards Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken three simple steps over here, trigger and two actions. In trigger, we have taken Razorpay and in actions, we have taken number for matter by Pabli and Gmail. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new order will be paid in Razorpay for a particular product, automatically the response of that order will be captured here in Pabli Connect. And by using that same response, automatically an email notification will be received to us along with all the customer and the order details. In this way, very easily by following the same steps, you can create this automation and this is going to help you to automatically get the customer details and the order details without any manual efforts every time a new order will be paid in your Razorpay account. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.